Insanity is doing the same thing, not once, not twice, but over and over again, expecting different results. And this can be frustrating, especially when it comes to finances. On this channel, we help you increase your financial IQ and buy back your freedom. Now, in this video, we're talking about cycles, but not just any cycles. We're talking about doom cycles. Cycles where you're just going in the same thing over and over again, and you want something to change. You can't figure out how to make it change when it comes to your finances. Results can be seen a mile away like Mount Everest. Whether it's positive or negative, people see it and notice. And when it comes to chiseling away like at Mount Everest, the work that you put in is intense. But before you get results, you get actions. The amount of quality that you put into your action is going to determine your results. See, imagine you're going to make a cake. Instead of putting in sugar, you make the mistake and putting in salt. It's going to taste terrible. See, your outcome is going to be very different than what you want and desire. But what's even more true is that your actions are determined by your feelings. So how do you feel about money? And how do you feel about your finances? Do you feel like it's not important? Do you feel like it stresses you out? See, it's hard to get motivated to do something when you're not expecting a good result. You want to be motivated enough to move the needle in your favor, but you need the energy to do that. And by focusing on the wrong things, like the problem, instead of the solution, then you, you get stuck in a cycle of not being motivated to make the change necessary to bring about the outcome that you desire. Here's the thing. Based on how you feel, will determine your actions. If you don't feel like doing something, you're not going to do it. No one can make you do anything that you don't want to do. The great thing about free will is that no one can make you do anything that you don't already want to do. But the question is, how do you get motivated to do what you want? See, sometimes motivation is not enough. So where do your feelings originate from? Well, they originate from thoughts. And the type of thoughts that you have on a consistent basis will determine how you feel about these topics. And so if you want to have a different outcome, you got to go all the way back to your thoughts. Here's how to break the cycle. What you have to do is change your negative thoughts to positive thoughts. And what those thoughts are going to do is they're going to change the way you feel about the situation. And when you change the way you feel, you have a positive outlook and a positive expectation that you have the certainty and the confidence that you are able to change your situation. Another way to help you break the cycle is by taking special care to your intention and your focus. You have to be intentional about the information that you're perceiving and the information that do gets into your mind, you have to process it. And so you have to be aware of how this stuff is affecting you. If you're finding this helpful, make sure you tap that like button and share this with a friend. When you focus, you produce an environment where your mind is able to produce the right thoughts to help you feel the right things. And when you feel the right things, you have the motivation and the energy necessary to figure out the right course of action you need to take to bring about the desired result that you want. While it may seem like the key to finances is soaking up a whole bunch of knowledge and terms, in reality, it's not just skill sets. It's also mindset. And if you don't have the right mindset, you'll still end up in this cycle. Here's the loop. Your thoughts create your feelings and your feelings create your actions and your actions create the results. And if you don't like the results, then you got to change the thoughts. And if you change your thoughts, it will change the feelings and the feelings will change the actions that you take and the actions you take will determine the outcome that you desire. So if you find this type of content helpful and interesting, then you want to make sure that you hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Swift out.